Hey Wanderers, welcome back to the Foolish Wanderers podcast. Like we mentioned in the last episode, today's episode is going to be a little bit of a throwback to back when we first started recording. We recorded this mini-sode, Kendra's Coca-Cola rant from McDonald's, back when we were recording episodes 7 and 9, so it's been a while. So please excuse the terrible audio quality, at least on my side. Please join us again next week as we're going to be talking about Crystal Skulls. Alright, see you guys next week. Bye! Welcome to the Foolish Wanderers Podcast. Why must I be surrounded by fools? Welcome, Wanderer. Hey, Wanderers. Welcome back to the Foolish Wanderers Podcast. I'm Katrina. And I am Kendra. And today, we're talking about Kendra's favorite subject. McDonald's Coke. <laughs> <laughs> Before we begin, we like to plug all of our social medias. Okay, everybody, here we go. Okay, you can email us at fwplisteners at gmail.com. All right, you can follow us and DM us on Instagram at Foolish Wanderers Podcast. And then you can sub- subscribe to us on our YouTube channel that is called The Foolish Wanderers Podcast. Thank you. Yay. We love you. <laughs> Email me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> talk, talk to me. You're going to freak some people out. They're like, no. Yeah. I don't feel like emailing you. I'm you good. Cut, you should cut that part out because I sound scary. Be like, I was just like, I want to hear from you. I want to hear from you. That's scary. <laughs> <laughs> that one's scary. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. I'm going to hear that late at night when I turn off the lights and I lay in my bed. <laughs> Oh, I can't I do it anymore. It what was the like heck? some insane. Uh, I don't know. It was like a weird slip. I don't know what happened. Where am it I? It was scary. Pivot, pivot. Who is this? Who am I talking know, to? Pivot. I don't know. Yeah, I can't get the little anyway. Huh. No, uh, come back to your body. <laughs> <laughs> come back. Come get back. your spirit back in your in your soul. Come Wait, come is back. spirit and soul the same thing? Mm-hmm. Weird. Why did I think they were separate things? I don't know. What did you think they were? How do you think? How did you think they were different? I thought like spirit was just like when you're dead, and then soul was like, I don't know, your living soul. Who knows? I don't know. I've never thought about this before. Like, like it's a spirit, like it's a ghost. Is that what you're talking about? No, then, like, I don't know. Was, like, it was like spirit, oh. like your entity, and then you're dead, and it's your spirit. <laughs> Who knows? I don't know mm-hmm. what I was talking about. I don't know. Never thought about spirit and soul. At the same, in the same time. Yeah. Those are for deeper topics. For another episode. This is a deep topic. The McDonald's Coke. McDonald's Coke is a deep oh, the topic. McDonald's Coke is the okay. deepest topic that there could ever be discussed. This is Kendra's favorite topic. It's like it's probably top ten. I wouldn't say it's my favorite thing. What's your favorite? Probably. That's a great question. Oh my god. Mm, I don't know. Maybe it's Pomeranians. I don't know. Yeah, that's that a fun sense. topic, but like I don't talk about it. I usually just find pictures and then I squeal to myself. I just find cute pictures of Pomeranians and I send them. I just like spam people. I'm like, see this dog? It's so cute. Yeah, you haven't spammed me Pomeranian photos in a long time. I haven't. I used to. I can mm-hmm. fix that. I subscribe to the yeah, Pomeranian podcast and I demand my It's not a podcast. It's the email list. Um, <laughs> it's a service. I'm it's sorry. a newsletter. And he's like, talk okay. a thousand Pomeranians of the quarter. And it's quarterly. It's a quarterly oh, newsletter. Quarter. Yeah, so you're going to be looking at about how many quarters. How many, I don't know. <laughs> how how many, many quarters? quarters are in the 12? <laughs> is it four? Is it is four? No, wait, it's three. <laughs> <laughs> I always. <laughs> <laughs> Did I ever tell you I barely passed math? <laughs> <laughs> and that I had tutors all of ever? Oh, yeah, I used to have a tutor, too, when I was... Yeah. When I, was I like, had tutors. For you. I had homework in the summer. Mm-hmm. I am not good at math. And math is not good to me. All right, let's get into this. 
Let's crack this cold one open. <laughs> All right. This episode is called Miss Katrina. Would you please? <clears throat> This is why McDonald's Coke tastes better than all the others. <laughs> Did you like my title? <laughs> <laughs> it's I thought it was like a beautiful. little bit like a run on but that's what I feel Crazy. in my soul. And I'm a writer. It's... Okay, Chef's I'm going to do a five second summary just in case people want to <laughs> opt out after this. Go, Here we go. 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 Five second summary. McDonald's tries extremely hard to ensure that every single dispense of Coke is a perfect dispense. Here we go into my long format. This is my presentation. Here I go presenting. Good job. You got this. You're good. Go, Kendra. You got this. Coca-Cola is serious about preserving its secret formula. We all know it. They say it in their commercials. They keep it in a vault, right? Like under lock and key. I want to say yes, but I don't know about too much about their I'm pretty sure they do. Anyway, we move on. Okay. okay, and the Coke that you get at McDonald's is made from the same ingredients that you'd get in a can from a vending machine or any other, like, Burger King, whatever, other subpar fast food places. The difference lies in the way McDonald's treats those ingredients right up to the moment they fill up your cup. And we're going to get into those from my many bullet points. <laughs> Ahem. Number one, special storage. McDonald's takes their Coca-Cola very seriously. They spend a lot of money. A lot of money. And they have it delivered in special stainless steel containers. So while most restaurants have their like their soda syrup delivered to them in plastic bags, if you've ever worked it, if you've seen them before, it's just it's just like this big huge bag of syrup and you're like, what? And it has like a picture of like Sprite or like Pepsi on it. And you're like, what is this? I'm like this is this is pop before it becomes pop. This is the sugary substance that you consume into uh-huh. your body. So, McDon- McDonald's Coca-Cola syrup is stored in stainless steel tanks. This pervert... Per- not perverts? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> it preserves... Uh, hey, it- I don't want to drink no. McDonald's Coke <laughs> yeah, anymore. It handles you. Okay, no. The stainless steel tanks. So... The stainless steel tank st- stinks? <laughs> That's kind of a hard word to say. We're doing great, ladies and We're doing great. Stainless steel tanks is kind of a tongue twister, though. <laughs> stainless steel tanks? Oh, maybe it is for me. Stainless steel it, tanks. Stainless steel tanks. Stainless steel it tanks. Sounds such a, it sounds such a... Any word sounds weird once you've like, repeated it ten times. You're like, why? Yeah. Why? Okay, yeah. so the stainless steel tanks... They preserve the syrup's flavor and it protects it from temperature, light, and air. And then all things that can like degrade the flavor quickly. Like the plastic bag. Mm -hmm. It's not. Mm -hmm. So the stainless steel tanks, they like make sure everything is as fresh as I guess a soft drink could be. Preserves it, yeah. So other restaurants, most restaurants have soda delivered in bags. Okay, one of the things Mm -hmm. that's helpful, this is a quote. I should say it's a quote and then read it, right? <laughs> <laughs> One of the okay, this is a quote from a McDonald's. I think he was a manager. I hope he was a manager, not just like the chatter. <laughs> okay, <laughs> well, here we go. Him. Quote: One of the things that is helpful and why we have such a great taste in Coke product is because of our volumes. McDonald's said in an interview with Time Magazine. We have in the back of our restaurants these tanks that essentially allow us to have a better mixing process in our restaurants between the syrup and the carbonated water than what someone else is able to do. Mm-hmm. Okay. It kind of makes you wonder, though, too, like how different all the other pops are taste. They all got treated the same. Whoa. That's kind of mind-blowing, Katrina. <laughs> Whoa. I don't want to know. I, it just rocked your mind. Like, I don't think there's any other soft drink company that I'm like, it's better than Coke. It's better. Because I'm not a Pepsi fan. Because every time I go to a restaurant, they're like, is Pepsi okay? And I'm like, no, I'll have water instead. Oh, dang. Well, I don't say it like that. I'm like, you know, I'll be, I'll put some, some spice on it. I'll be like, or not spice, nice. I put nice on it. I put nice spice I say, spice oh, on that's it. fine. I'll just have water. How different? Because I haven't had Coke or Pepsi in a long time. How long? How different is it? To Pepsi you? to me tastes like a sugary latex glove. Oh, that's oh, the okay. only way I know how to describe it. 
I don't know how else to describe it. So it's all like, it's all Coke then like from a can or a bottle. Does that taste? It tastes different than McDonald's Cokes. Yeah. But is it still better than Pepsi? To my, and I personally, I do like Pepsi Cherry. I would take Pepsi Cherry over a can okay. of Coke. Oh, really? But I would. That's I like Pepsi Cherry tastes pretty good. Like their cherry is spot on. <laughs> I think it's a, it tastes more like a real, like good cherry flavor rather than Coke's cherry. Okay. Mm-hmm. But that's just my opinion. <laughs> okay. Have you tried it from like those? Um, I think I've seen them in like Five Guys and like Chick Fil A. It's like those giant Coke machines where they have like all the different flavors. You can choose like cherry, vanilla. Or... That is a blasphemous machine. <laughs> it is disgusting. <laughs> I hate those machines. It, it is so Why? like it's so watered down. It oh, has really? like no little to no flavor. It does t- it like the Coke. Like ch- taste completely different to me, in my opinion. Like movie theaters okay. like to have them, mm-hmm. and yeah. if you actually watch when you pick like a flavor, if you do like Coke and they have all the different flavors, you like if you watch mm-hmm. the spigot that it comes out of, like the dispenser, it'll only mm-hmm. have it has like four, I swear it has like four streams of like the carbonation stuff, like the water come down. And then there's only like a yeah. teeny little spigot in the back, like stream of like the Coke, like the. I feel like you've, been, you've used bad ones, like clogged ones I or something. Know. Because that's not how the ones I've used. Really? Maybe I have yeah. to find like a set of the art one. I don't know. That's because I think noodles and company has one. Yeah. And that use, Coke yeah. sucks too. I think it's the machine. McDonald's from the no. from the research that I did, McDonald's and Coke are very like they're the closest business oh. partners. They've done business for a very very long time. The original founder of McDonald's, Ray Kroc, he wasn't the you know OG, the person that started McDonald's, but he's the one that mm-hmm. like took it over and made it into a franchise that it is. He's the one that started the relationship with Coke, like the partnership. Oh yep. wow, that's so, a long time ago. Very long time ago. Okay, so we've gone over the first point that one of the reasons why Coke at McDonald's is so good is because the special storage and their state-of-the-art stainless steel tanks that get delivered. And the deliveries come, like, very often. I think, I don't know, I didn't ever worked at McDonald's, but I think they come very frequently. If any of you listeners worked at McDonald's knows how many times that, that you get a delivery of Coke, in a week tell me (laughs) i need to know kendra needs to know these facts the last yeah they keep they do i wonder i did wonder because last time i went to mcdonald's with my coworker for lunch we both ordered cokes and they're like i'm sorry like we just got our shipment of coke we're trying to set up the the tanks he's like do you want to wait 10 minutes i was like nah we'll just get water (laughs) dang it was fine as it breaks the relationship. Well, I get it. Is that wait 10 minutes? No. Nah. Well, I mean, it was on. You can't wait 10 minutes when you're on your break. You got to look at your phone. <laughs> okay, back to the presentation. So, second reason is consistent water filtration. So, McDonald's filters their water many times over to maintain consistent flavor and quality. So, the reason they, they have to do this. So, they the reason they have to do this is because different cities have different water sources. And McDonald's has like 32,000 locations yeah. over all like the world. So they're very, yeah. you know, they want, they p- spend a lot of money to have Coke's products. And they want it specialized to have the best Coke. So this is another area that they have to, you know, work in. So I did find that all their other soft drinks also taste or are like more they're safer because of the water filtration that's good to know Mm -hmm. anywho so they have to do this because different cities have different water sources that means the taste can vary from one city block to another but with the advanced water filtration system mcdonald's can get a better result time and time again no matter the quality they start with that worries me like what if it's like icky? Yeah, what if it's like icky brown water and then it's like. Oh, I don't think they'd allow that to happen. Yeah, just like filter it out. Here we go. Well, I guess you wouldn't know because it's Coke, so it's dyed. I don't know, anyway, but like so the water filtration know. system, I don't know. They're dealing with. Yeah. 
I guess I think it was in downtown Chicago not too long ago. They actually had problems with lead still in the water pipes because they're so mm-hmm. old. Remind me not to go there anytime soon. Okay, <laughs> the fast food chain actually filters their water more than most competitors and invests a lot of money into maintaining their filtration system. So, to sum up that whole section up, fresh water equals fresh Coke. Equals happy Kendra. Equals happy Kendra. Okay. So the chili water combines with pre-chilled Coca-Cola syrup, whose amount is scientifically determined based on how much ice would melt in a drink over time. Isn't oh, that wow. cool? This is science, people. <laughs> it's very Don't mess with science. science. This is the <laughs> So is it the line that's on like the cups that says um like the fill ice to here? Is that the amount that they're talking about? I think about? they're talking about like the amount of syrup that comes out of the spigot. Oh, I think okay. that's like they've predetermined what's the perfect amount, and then also the amount of um the carbonated water stuff that comes out, also the carbonation, mm-hmm. whatever that stuff is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, we move on to the next topic. So we've gone over special storage, water filtration, and now we are on to special syrup. So dun, dun, dun. special syrup. Most fountain drink machines flash chills. Wait, yeah, that makes sense, Kendra. There we go. <laughs> Here we go. I read it again. Take two. Most fountain drink machines. Stop laughing, yeah. <laughs> okay, so most fountain drink machines flash chill sodas as they're dispensed from the spigot. It gets them cooler, but it's not like cold, cold like McDonald's mm. Coke cold. Mm. Oh, um. <laughs> so. Oh. Anywho, to play off of that, McDonald's pre-chills their syrup. They also pre-chill the water. Most restaurants leave the syrup sitting in the plastic bags in like a hallway or under like a soda fountain. Ours was under a soda fountain, but we also had um, at the restaurant I worked at. Not McDonald's. At the the local restaurant I used to work at. We would have, I don't even know if this was like an industrial, real thing. Maybe it was just like a bookshelf, like a metal bookshelf with, maybe it wasn't a bookshelf. No, it was one of those garage, like, wire shelves that has caster wheels. And we would put, like, the boxes that have the syrup bags in there. And then we would put, we would stick the nasty hoses in there and then run it, you know, to the filter, the carbonated spigot gun. Oh, yeah. yeah. Ours was in the, was in a hallway on a weird metal shelf on caster wheels. (laughs) The ours at the theater was like in a separate room, but yeah, it was on the same kind of like a wire rack thing you're talking mm-hmm. about. Anyway, yeah. the syrup bags are at best room temperature, so they are, we can attest to that, right? And at worst, warmer mm-hmm. because of the kitchen's hot climate. Oh man, that's kind of true. As sounds Ew, gross. hot syrup. Well, that's good on pancakes, but not yeah. drinking. Yeah, pancakes, yes. Drinking no. <laughs> for some people, I don't know what they do. I don't judge. Anyway, Ooh, what would happen if you put this the pop syrup over your pancakes? Um, disgustingness. Ew, <laughs> I don't want to do that. You can try, <laughs> but you try that and tell me what it was like. Yeah, I'm good. McDonald's also mixes their syrup to water ratio to account for ice melt. I think I covered this earlier a little bit, mm-hmm. but that means cool. that the drink has a slightly higher ratio at sip number one to make sure that sip. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, so on and so forth, are supremely refreshing too. This is also why you should never order your McDonald's Coke without ice. You'd be just, if you order your Coke without ice, you're messing with their like carefully designed like soda ratio. If you get a Coke without ice, you're killing him. You're killing him. Blasphemy. Okay. So McDonald's doesn't cheat the system either when it comes to Coke. With other things, they cheat. But now with Coke. Oh. <laughs> like, the, like McDonald's Monopoly, like that's just a big scam. They did like a whole HBO docuseries yeah. about it. But anyway. That made me so sad when I figured out about that. Because I used to want to play I that know, and win money. But guess what? Yeah, like, yeah. Guess what, Katrina? For a dollar, you can get a large Coke at McDonald's Very with the true. ice. Yeah. Huh? With ice. Always, Always with ice. ice. Never, Never not ice. get the Never. ice. Okay, so yeah, Mc, like I said, McDonald's doesn't mess with their Coke. They are you. They use the prescribed syrup amount from the soda giants themselves. So Coke 
like has done you know science i don't know if it's called science it's, it's science right they did research to find out like the perfect syrup amount to you know all this other ice ratio all this other stuff to count and they gave it to mcdonald's because mcdonald's you know bought the farm they probably didn't just give it to them. They probably paid a pretty penny for it, but, you know. Oh, yeah. They didn't just buy the cow. They probably bought the farm. Oh, okay, yeah. so we've gone over special storage, consistent water filtration, special syrup, and now we are on to temperature. Okay, in addition to pre-chilling their syrup and filtering their water through an advanced system, the temperature is kept from 33 to 38 degrees. McDonald's keeps it circulating through insulated tubing. McDonald's also keeps the water for their sodas incredibly cold, so it's kept 33 to 38 degrees. There is an insulated tube that runs from the refrigerator unit in the back all the way to the soda fountain near the drive through window. The temperature of the water is also optimized for peak carbon di- Oh, I can't say that word. <laughs> I say it again. Here we go. Optimized for peak carbon dioxide levels. Indeed, CO2 doesn't escape as easily from really cold liquids. So this temperature is designed to be both refreshing and to keep your pot bubbly and crisp longer. I actually didn't know that. That's actually really cool. And then I also wrote, again, as another reminder, never order a McDonald's Coke without ice. The ice is essential to maintaining the perfect syrup ratio. <laughs> This is Kendra's my, quote she loves by. She wakes up every morning and says, don't forget It's the, the Kendra ice. commandments. It's commandment number one. And it is never order a McDonald's <laughs> Coke without ice. Thou shalt. Is it shalt? Thou shalt order a McDonald's Coke without ice. Thou shalt not order McDonald's Coke without ice cubes. Without the frozen water cubes. That was me clapping. Very <laughs> what? I was clapping. I love that you, love that you had to explain. What I don't it was. know. Some people like think things. <laughs> anyway, we move on now. We move on past the temperature to the last and the coup de gras, the most important part of why McDonald's Coke is better than any other Coke, and it is because of. We have a drum roll. The straw. <laughs> Anticlimactic, but yes, the straw. <laughs> the straw has been engineered to perfection for McDonald's, purposely for Coke flavoring. So compare McDonald's straw to that of any other fast food chain, and you'll see see a size difference. McDonald's is packing. McDonald's straw. <laughs> McDonald's straws are thicker. <laughs> they are thick boys it's a slightly wider than a typical straw so that all coke taste can hit your taste buds that's what mcdonald's has on their website is grimace a taste bud ew i forget that <laughs> the grimace is supposed to be like a who thought who looks at like that purple blob and is like hmm, a taste bud that's a good question i have I no idea know. Apparently, he's supposed to be a milkshake. That's disgusting, too. I don't see it. I don't get it. That mm -hmm. no one will ever figure it out. But luckily, we mm -hmm. do know now why Coke tastes better at McDonald's. <laughs> the <laughs> end. Postscript. Never order a McDonald's Coke without ice. Ice, baby. The end. Ice, ice. <laughs> Can we, like, get, like, shirts that say, never forget the ice? <laughs> Why did you never say it like a, like, a, like a German? Never forget the... It's like, I think it's because of Phineas and Ferb. They had a whole episode about the aglet, which I'll is never the forget the hard classic aglet. tip. Yep. Yeah, it's on the end of the, the, your um, chilies. It's like, never forget the aglet. And so, yeah, that's, I think, where it comes from. In my brain. Never get... McDonald's Coke without ice. Thou shalt not order the sweet Coke, the, sl the sweet delectable substance known as Coke, <laughs> without the frozen water cubes. I like it. That's the and that's the law. This is Kendra's law. Kendra's world and Kendra's law. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Kendra's world. <laughs> do, do, do. Kendra's world. Thus concludes the presentation.
This concludes Kendra's TED Talk. Thank you, Kendra, for teaching us all about the McDonald's Coke. <laughs> You're welcome. I don't know. It sounds so <laughs> creepy. Done. It's like, how do you end it? I don't, how do you I end don't know. You this say, episode? Thank you, everybody. Thank you for listening. Thank you, everybody, for listening to this wonderful podcast. Is this a mini sound or is this going to be like a full Who podcast? Who knows? How long have we been going? I feel like I've been talking forever. <laughs> McDonald's is about a half hour. I told so. you I could go. I could keep going on. I'm, McDonald's Coke is the best. I want one now. Oh, you should post me the tea. It's too late. I would get it I would never. Hey, I'm not going to just be, brush my teeth and then be like, hey, can I get a sausage, <laughs> egg McMuffin, and a Coke to wash it all down? No. <laughs> well, why not? What else would you get with it? Like, I, like a coffee? I don't know. I can't. Drink. I don't like I tr- coffee. It's, it's too acidic. It's, it is. But I can't drink coffee. In the, like, not coffee. I can drink coffee in the morning, but I can't drink yeah. I, can't, I can't drink soda. I can't drink soda in the morning. Some, something seems sick and wrong about it. <laughs> anyway, thanks to everyone that finished this podcast. If you made it through. <laughs> thanks for listening. Bye. <laughs> See you all next time. <laughs> Bye. I went to the dark side. <laughs> the dark side. How did I do that deep thing? I don't know. I think ago? you summoned Satan. I don't know how else to <laughs> describe it. <laughs> so I'm gonna, like, I have to do this. Ew. <laughs> how about no? How about you need Jesus and to go to bed? I still have three more hours I can be up and do That is stuff. insanity. I have like an hour. I'm a night owl. My brain works it. So does mine, but my night owl, my beautiful night owl was stomped to death and was replaced by a disgruntled robin that is missing five feathers. Just five? That's not a lot. It is to that robin. (laughs) (laughs) For for they are the most crucial feathers for that a bird needs. And my robin also hates worms, so eating is a real pain. What is it? What do you eat? Grasshoppers, mostly. Oh, good protein. Uh, Exactly. Fiber. I missed my night owl.